Hello and welcome. My name is John. And today I'll be just doing a quick tutorial on about how to create a clone video using Vista. Windows Movie Maker. Yes, Vista. And I'll even touch on how to do a tutorial on even XP. I've had a few questions about how am I doing this on Vista, how do I do it in general, so I'm going to be answering these questions today. So, covering both Vista and XP. Alright, so let's dive into this thing. Let's boot up the computer and find out. You want to go to www.rehanfx.org Right there in my history. Alright, now that's, that's where this will bring you to here. Now, you want the Vista version of all these transitions and effects. Now this will get you more than just a clone video. What I'll be showing you here can get you blue screen, green screen, a bunch of other various effects. But it will take a few steps to do this though. So you want to click on this, Shatter TFX for Windows Movie Maker 6.0. Okay. And there is the site. Now I have the 32-bit version of Vista, so I would be clicking on that. If you have the 64 version of Vista, you'll want to click on the one below it right there. But I already have this. So, I'll click on that. I'll bring you up a dialog box here. Do you want to save or run this file? Now I would say you'd want to save this file and then run it so you can keep it. But that's just me. Alright, I already have this, so I will not be saving it or running it, and that will be bringing through a dialog box to activate it. Just follow the steps on screen there, and you'll be able to do that. Now, that does not get you what you want automatically. This is just a basic plugin. This is green screen, blue screen, a few other transitions, but this does not include the clone effect and you want to go to Windows Movie Maker Forms List. Alright, so those are just ran random transitions, but not what you want. There is a Shatter TFX which we just downloaded. You want to go to Additional Shatter TFX Transitions and Effects. Now these will not work if you have not downloaded the above. So you have to have that right there before you can get anything down here. Alright. So, let's look for this stuff. You can pick a whole bunch of other things here. There's rotation effects, split video, which is what you need. Uh, wavy transition, there's even some effects. 3D ripples, black and white, bloom effects, all that good stuff. What we want is split video. So, we would click on that link right there. Let me focus. There we go. Split the screen showing part of one clip next to part of another. So I click on that. Alright. So, let's maximize this box. You will be seeing code down here. There it is. There's the code. That is XML. But for those of you that do not know how to copy that into Notepad, which I didn't even do, there is something down here that you might be interested in. You can download add-on for Shatter TFX, Rehan FX Split EXE. Alright, click on that. Now again, I already have this, so I will not be saving or running this, but you just uh, save and then run it. Follow the steps on screen. Then you will have it. Okay. And then you would be wanting to go to Windows Movie Maker. Alright, so what I've done here is I've uh, added a couple of videos down here. So you want to start with two videos. Let's one with me on the left and one with me on the right. Now what you want to do is right there on the dividing line. 
it there. Okay, go to transitions and you'll be wanting to go down to what you just downloaded and now depending on what order you have your videos in, you either want to do it with AB soft or BA soft. Now, I'm still kind of new at this, so I have to do it as a trial and error, so let's just try that. Alright, and now what you want to do here is you want to drag the clip over the other one as far as possible without having this blue line disappearing. So I'm going to try to get up as close as I can and see where, there we go. No. Right there. It's as far as I can bring it over. Alright. Now let's see what we have. There is now the end result in Vista Movie Maker. The original download is a free trial. It's a 14 day free trial. It costs you $15 in order to download, keep it forever. If you want to do another way of getting what you need for Vista, but you don't want to pay $15, then you'll want to search this up. Windows Movie Maker 2.6. Alright, now what is Windows Movie Maker 2.6? Windows Movie Maker 2.6 is the XP version modified for Vista. As far as I'm aware, it will not replace the Vista Movie Maker, which is good. You want to keep both. I would not recommend you delete a Movie Maker. Just add it on. Just a completely different file. And from that, you would be able to do all the steps you need to do for the XP version. So you'd go back to rehandfx.com, vertical split of split screen. And you would go into... 2.6, same steps as I showed you before, and you'll be able to get it for free that way. XP transition packs. Now this is a lot easier. So let's go to split video. And then you would download for this. I will not download this today because downloading this XP software for Vista can ruin your computer, so don't do it. You would click that if you have XP. Alright, so you would download that and you would go into your XP Movie Maker and you just do the same steps I showed you the last time with the Vista one. And that's it! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe!